Oh, hey, Jerry, how's it going? Looks like you, you know, put on a couple pounds. Oh, God, Jerry, I'm sorry. Alright everybody, what is going on? It is your boy Colin from the Chalks P. Welcome back to another Minecraft Redstone tutorial. And if you're wondering why I'm a Steve, I am currently playing offline. Uh, I moved to my dad's for a bit for a couple weeks, so expect regular uploads as soon as I get my internet situation down. And that's why my skin is a Steve. Uh, this will probably be up before or before after I actually have my internet up, internet up. So yeah. But anyways, guys. Today, I'm bringing you guys another, yes, another TNT cannon. This time, it's using slime blocks. So, I hope you all enjoy the video. And if you're going to enjoy at any point in time, make sure to hit the like button. Anyways, guys. So, basically, this is very simple redstone. As you can see, we got our sticker, sticky piston pushing the slime block, which is going to actually push. And when it, the TNT is activated, it can be moved around like sand and gravel and whatnot. I'm pretty sure this does actually work with sand. I'll probably have a little test thing at the end of the video. But um, basically what it does, when you hit this button, this redstone repeater goes off, activating this piston, pushing the slime block over to the TNT, pushing it over, and by the time it gets over, this is already shot up. As you can see, there's a piston under there, and we'll launch. Well, enough talk, let's demonstrate. Boom. Oops. Boom. And there she goes. And... Boom goes the dynamite. And as you can see, it does some devastating thing. Whoa, got all the way down to lava. That wasn't staged or anything. Blah, 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 blah. Anyways, um, but yeah, guys, I'm gonna tell you all how to build this, or let's build it now. So basically, you start off everything with a hotbar. Well, maybe except for some torches or a command block. I just had that, I was screwing around before I made this video. But yeah, let's get started. So we'll just light up our area very, very quickly. Boom, that's enough. So, first off, start by making one hole in the ground. And place your sticky piston like so. Slime block. Then, over here, place your dispenser going up. And, going into it, you want to put it on tick. Oh, maybe I got that wrong. Did I get that wrong? Yes, I definitely got that wrong. Okay, anyways. Going, oops. Going, oh, give me 17, that's kind of weird. Anyways, going to this, facing that, you want to go on tick 3, like so. And a uh, good thing in the texture pack is it is a 3D model pack. And uh, if you want to have this texture pack, make sure to go check out my previous video. I did a texture pack review on it. Anyways, load up your TNT. Actually, we're only going to put like 2 in there because I kind of want to test if sand works. And then away from it, you want to just leave it like that. Then place a block here. And stick your piss in there. And slime block there. And go ahead and place your button here, and it should work, unless I completely failed with the redstone repeaters. And I didn't. So as you can see there, it fires decently far. The only setback to this, you can't actually adjust the um, length or distance it goes. So this is kind of bad, because the other ones, you can actually, by deciding how much TNT you put in, or whatnot. But um, this is always good, because it's very compact, and you can move. It, you can always move it back. So I'm not complaining. Anyways, that's basically it for this video. Again, as I said, make sure to like the video if you go to a joint or this helped you. Also, make sure to subscribe for more daily Minecraft videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.